how do you not like your own song enough to put it out? Like when be like, yo, sneak peek. <laughs> and it's a sample. This one changed a lot of, my, I wouldn't say my whole perspective. I would normally do my whole, right? <laughs> but a lot of my perspective on testing out the market, right? Testing out what your audience wants. So Tyler, the creator, did a recent interview, I think on his uh, shoe. I think he's coming out with a shoe in Converse, right? Yeah, well, Converse, yep. Yeah. So uh, he was talking about, you know, some insecurities that people have. Let's put it that way. Some insecurities that I was like, oh, Hmm. I never thought of it like this. So let's... Let's hear what he says. Is one of the like most obvious forms of like insecurity to me. When artists put a snippet up of a song on the internet and wait to see how people react to it and let the let the crowdsourcing of opinion dictate if they're gonna put that out. How do you not like your own song enough to put it out? Like when be like, yo, sneak peek. <laughs> and it's a sample. It's a sample that's not going to come out for nine months. I know yeah. my shoes work. Yeah, you know how it works. And then, like, if people were like, ooh, this ain't it. And then that they one go never away. comes out. Right. Then they rework. But it's like, bro, have confidence in your mm. shit. Like, Shout out to my guy's laugh. That was hilarious. I don't know. No, I died. (laughs) I died the first time I heard that. I was like, we're not going to talk about this. We're not going to talk about this laugh. Everybody just thought that was okay. Okay, cool. The laugh is priceless. Yeah, yeah. Now that's that's packed, man. And and I could kind of see like the resistance to it. Like, but wait, why why not? You know, Mm -hmm. like, why not do it? And hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I, I can see two sides of the story, though. I will say this. Like, one side of it is, and 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 we know the truth. Like, you you know you and why you're doing what you're doing. Like, right. are you doing it to test the market and see, okay, do they like it? Do they approve of me? Um, like, I'm, am I okay? Will I still be accepted? Mm-hmm. Or are you doing it because you're like, no, nah, I, I want to let you know something's coming. And I'm actually doing it to build the anticipation. Mm. I'm trying to gear you in and prep you. Okay, that that is a marketing strategy. But but if you're doing it and behind it, there's the facade or there's that, okay, there really is insecurity, mm-hmm. then it's like, well, man, I'm not, I'm not doing it right. You know, like I, or I'm trying to do it, do the right thing, but for the wrong reasons, or and and it's not really hitting like that. So that that's very interesting. I, I am curious to hear what you got to say about that though, because I know, and I actually got this from you. Like you're constantly testing. Mm-hmm. I, and I used to think like there's a testing season. You test once, yeah. and then you would. But it's like no, you can always be testing. Absolutely. So uh, so yeah, that, it would, yeah. What, what's you um? I'm so torn by this. <laughs> so, and. I think my trigger word is insecurity, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because I do believe certain brands do things because they are insecure, right? Now, from a flip side, when you are a brand that normally puts out one thing and then is trying to see if the audience is going to feel this new thing, to call it an insecurity is, I'm like, I get it. Like, you should feel so confident, like, yo, bump that. But that's almost on a selfish tip as well. Mm-hmm. It's like, you're not considerate of the user experience. You're only saying, yo, this is what I want. It's going to work. I'm going to make it work. And... It is what it is. Now, I'm big on allowing the people to be part of the process. Now, does that make it an insecurity because I want people part of the process? No. There is all a strategic vibe because as you're part of the process, 
Now mm-hmm. you're going to want to see it go through and say, yo, I, I got this because I was part of the whole thing. I think I'm just very torn with how he approached that because I really enjoy putting people in the process. Now, is there a little, I wouldn't say doubt, but I just want to be fully like aware of what the audience wants and Mm -hmm. not force them one way or the other. But then I'm like, but you are the, the brand you're supposed to lead them into what is the new norm. So you put it out and give it your full effort. And there's going to be people who will listen to, who will buy it, who would rock with it or not. But if you don't feel fully confident in it, of course, there's going to be some that's not even going to rock with it based off the feeling of you not really, you're seeing if this works, you're seeing if it doesn't, right? But there's a whole strategy of, let me give you, let me build the hype up. So Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something's coming out. I may show you something that is coming out, not necessarily for approval. I don't necessarily need feedback, but I definitely uh, need to show you that you better be on standby because this Mm -hmm. is coming out. And as I show you these particular things, you're going to get very, very curious and curiosity creates clicks. And so if I can create that curiosity throughout this campaign, when it does release, you're going to at least click on it to understand what it is. So Mm. depending on your strategy, it could be an insecurity. But on the other side, it could be a whole way of launching something that has no desire of feedback or doubt. It just is to let you know this is coming. So eh, I'm not like, I'm, I it's get it and I don't like it's, I'm so torn Yeah, because I want to yeah, agree with he, him. Yeah. No, I, I mean, he makes a point, but I think it's only valid for an innovator. Right. So like, think about it like this. It's like, whoever's listening to this and probably us as well, mm-hmm. we got to ask ourselves, are we creators or are we innovators? Mm. So a creator is doing exactly what you mentioned. I'm creating things for my people, my tribe, my community, yeah. because I'm hearing their pain and I'm finding a unique method to maybe resolve it. Or I'm hearing what's happening or they're, they've found what I'm doing and they have found some level of solution through it. Yeah. An innovator, and I could see where this is, becomes different with maybe somebody like a, a Steve Jobs or even a Kanye, Elon Musk. It's like, if you don't have my eyesight, you can't see my vision. Mm. So if I'm creating something that is like nothing that's out there and I'm testing it to see what you think about it, then of course you're going to think it's crazy. Like the Kanye boots, those like spaceship uh, type boots, mm-hmm. they do look a little crazy, right. right? Like the oversized, even when they, when him and Virgil s- started getting into streetwear, like at a time, I'm sure people were like, yo, that's not in. Everyone is really in line more with European fashion, like slim fit stuff or tighter clothing. And they started bringing back the baggy style, but in a different look. So I think innovators, they probably will be in more trouble if they're looking for acceptance or approval because you're trying to introduce something that is outside of the box or outside of the culture norm that if you're looking for approval, you might have people, you're almost giving people the right to botch down your vision without it, without it putting it into the space. And you, with your creativity and your style, you bring it to life and you show the use and the function and, the, and how it can be different. But I think, yeah, that, that's got to be the only variable that I can really think of. But if you are someone who is a creator for the people, if you literally are doing it for them, mm-hmm. then then you're right. Like you do want to see like, hey, are you liking this? Like, is this helpful for you? Or, or your creative process is actually backwards, meaning you listen first and based on what, what they're saying, you create 
with that where the the innovator is like, hmm, what do I see that people don't see or how can I reimagine this to be different? And I'm doing that and then I'm putting it out. So it's like, that's one of the only variables that I can think about that can make what he's saying valid. Mm -hmm. And and I think he he would fit that mold, somebody who's more of an innovator than just a creator. The facts. These are facts. Would love to hear your your uh, feedback. Not because I'm insecure. Uh, not because Moose <laughs> is insecure. Because we would honestly just know your feedback. Yummy. Know 